All right, I'm finally back with another Saber unboxing. This time it is going to be over my Saber Trio right here. If you did watch my collection video, you know I talked briefly about it and how amazing it is. I'm actually really excited to dive into this Saber. This has blown every one of my other Sabers like completely out of the water in every single aspect. This has definitely been the best Saber experience I've had compared to any other company or any other Saber that I've ever gotten. Saber Trio does phenomenal at what they do. They have like the best customer service out there and honestly some of the best hilts that you can get. I will be completely honest. Saber Trio is one of the top three Saber companies without question. I don't know what it is about their sabers, but I've held three of them now and every single one of them feels like you're holding a real lightsaber. I don't know. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's just the best way to explain it. The way the sound vents, how loud it is, just how good everything about it is. It's super light, easy to spin. All the buttons have a really nice durable feel to them, which honestly most of my other sabers don't. As I show it off, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It has a bunch of other features none of my other ones have. The one that I chose from Saber Trio is called the Reaver. It is installed with effects and I got the weathered version with an amber button. I'm going to go ahead and put all my specs that I got on the screen because when you go to Saber Trio you can spec it out to however you want. But you do have a little bit of a wait time especially if you buy an acid edge saber. If you know who Carly King is she actually has an acid edge saber trio and it looks really good. It was the first one I ever held but I'm going to go ahead and unbox it and then review it for you. I'm going to show off all the fonts that it came with. I'm going to take it outside and do a spinning test and yeah that's about it. Hope you enjoy. Let's go ahead and unbox this now. You can see Saber Trio's logo right on the outside. Open it up. Right in the front, there's a thank you card. And then right under it, the hilt is right in the center in this bubble wrap, along with my 24 inch blade that I ordered. And then over here is the charger. It comes with an invoice for your order for everything that you put on it and how you configured it. Moving over here is another piece for the charger. This is actually a proper and safer way to charge it. This cord right here is for updating and configuring your Sabre. Underneath that is the retention screws and Allen wrench. I have no idea what's in this burrito looking thing, but we're about to find out. Absolutely nothing. To kind of run through the Sabre really quick and show you some of the cool features about it, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. All you have to do is press the button for like a second and a half. It's honestly really, really loud. Sabre Trio does a very good job at the speakers that they use and the venting that comes out of the Sabre. CFX now recently just got gesture controls as well. So you can either twist it off or just use the button like normal. You can actually see the Covertech wheel is weathered just like the rest of the Sabre is. And then up here is your blaster button, your aux button, or whatever you really wanna call it. It's your secondary button. And then if I were to hold that down, that's how you change fonts. Sound bank selection. Benji's. Kylo Ren. Snickers. Hold down the main button to select the one you want. One particular thing I'm excited to show off about this one is that it has something called blade detection, which none of my other sabers have. It has a little disconnecting and connecting sound. It's really neat. And then if you try and activate it with that one in, primary crystal missing. To get to the chassis, all you have to do is unscrew the bottom piece here. You can see the speaker right here. And what I do is just kind of give it a shake. It'll slide out, you can pull it a bit, and then there is the recharge port. And if I pull it a little bit further, you can see the Saber battery and the CFX board itself. They actually give you four different wall outlet plugins. This definitely comes with everything you need and a little bit more. Sound bank selection. I wondered when you would return.
Darth Plagueis the Wise. This is General Kenobi. Let negotiations begin. Ancient prophecies. This has to be one of my favorite saber ignitions I've ever seen. That is so cool. Crystal focus. Holy crap. Does the weather ever get better in here?
This is probably the best white I've ever seen on a Neopixel. 